Hi, hi, V Kids Fitter. It's your high V dietitian Tiqua here with Family Meals. We are going to be talking about different things and how to eat family meals. As a dietitian, I help coach people to make healthy choices through the foods that they eat. Did you know that kids who eat together meals with their family eat a wider variety of foods? We tend to try new things because we see mom and dad eat them. And maybe this is because we're able to be braver. And when we try different new foods, it's not so nerve wracking. Have you ever been brave and tried a new food this week? Did, was it kind of scary or were you nervous about it or unsure because it was different? Sometimes we have to be brave to try new foods, and guess what? You may end up loving it. <laughs> Today we're gonna make a homemade pizza dough. Today's recipe is gonna look a little bit different than your traditional homemade pizza crust. Instead of using the typical uh, ingredients like oil and flour, sugar, salt, and yeast, we're only gonna use two ingredients. That's right, guys, hold up your fingers, two. We're gonna be using our all-purpose flour and Chapani Greek yogurt. All right, this pizza is perfect for pizza night. The dough is super simple to make and it provides a unique spin on your ordinary pizza due to the Greek yogurt, yes. So, what are you gonna need? You are gonna need one cup of Chobani plain non-fat Greek yogurt. We're gonna put that in our bowl. You'll need self-rising pizza dough. You'll need two cups, and you'll need about a half a cup of water. We have our Greek yogurt in here, guys, and I'm gonna add in two cups of our flour. Do you guys like to make pizza at your house? Me and my kids do. And when this, when we make this one, it is super easy. It's no fuss and no mess. Here's our half a cup of water. We're gonna stir this in. Now, self-rising um, flour is really, it's different because what happens is it is, is a combination of all-purpose flour um, it is a also has baking powder in it and salt. Um, so it has like all those ingredients in it. That's why you don't have to use all the extra ones. Um, if you don't have a self-rising flour, you can always use these um, ingredients individually um, and that's okay too. All right, now that my dough is nice and formed together and we stirred it, I'm gonna take it out, move the bowl to the side. I have a little, I'm gonna grab a little bit of flour and dust my surface like you see here and we're gonna start kneading our dough. Here's a tip, if your dough doesn't form together and it's still kind of dry in the bowl, add about one tablespoon of water at a time until you can get it nice and form. We're gonna um, just kind of knead it and what you wanna do is push it out and pull it back and that's how we knead it. We don't wanna over knead it, we just wanna make sure it's nicely mixed together um, and it's a nice little bowl. So now what we're gonna do is uh, divide this in half and we're going to um, roll these little guys out into about two 10 inch pizzas. You will want to make sure that at this point you take time to go and preheat your oven to 450 degrees and then that way you're ready for your crust to put it in. All right now it's time to roll our dough out. So another tip that you can do instead of using plain Greek yogurt um, kids fitters, you can do vanilla uh, Greek yogurt and you can make a dessert pizza. Doesn't that sound delicious? All right, we have our pizza, yay! So we're going to put it on our pan and we have our two pizza doughs. Now, remember we have the oven going about three or 450 degrees, so I'm gonna put this in for about eight minutes and then we'll come back and top our pizza. All right, Kids Fitters, let's get cooking. All right, guys, our pizza is out of the oven. We have it all pre-baked. So now what we're gonna do is time for sauce. 
So we kind of talked before, you can do lots of different kinds of sauces. Um, we talked about the breakfast pizza and maybe using a yogurt for a sauce, um, but you could also use like Alfredo sauce or regular spaghetti sauce or pesto sauce. Um, today I'm gonna make a chicken taco pizza for a fun spin and get some more veggies in on my pizza. So I'm gonna use salsa for my sauce. So we're gonna just take a little bit and put it on, spread it on our pizza. What kind of sauce do you like? Or what kind of pizza is your favorite kind of pizza? Comment below um, and tag Heidi Kids Fit in. I am really interested to see what kind of pizza do you guys like. Um, Maybe uh, it's something pretty cool or crazy. <laughs> uh, but we have our salsa on here now. Um, and it's all nice and even. So now we're gonna go ahead and top it. What I want to do is first put on some cheese to hold on to my veggies. Now, it's really important to get as many vegetables in as you can. So some veggies, that I'm gonna add to my pizza. We have tomatoes and bell peppers here. Um, we're gonna put some diced onions on our pizza. We, what other things could we put? What do you think? So we have some diced onions I'm just gonna sprinkle on here. We can put whole avocado or mushrooms. We're gonna kind of keep it with the taco theme. So we're gonna put some bell peppers. Have you guys ever had fajitas? I love fajitas. All right, so we have our bright orange bell peppers and we have our delicious tomatoes that have high in potassium for heart health and keeping your blood pumping and your veins healthy or your blood vessels healthy. Now we're gonna do chicken. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of taco seasoning to my chicken. So um, what we're going to do, an easy way to do is grab like a Ziploc baggie and we're gonna put our chicken in here and I'm going to season it with Mrs. Dash taco seasoning. And I'm just gonna put about um, a half a teaspoon in here and kind of shake it all around. And this is an easy tip or trick that you can do to just kind of flavor some of your Food, so it hasn't. But the great thing about Mrs. Dash is it doesn't have any extra sodium. So this is a nice low sodium blend. Um, when you're picking a meat, you want to try to pick one that is lower and like that's leaner. So we have shrimp over here, or you could do like a Canadian bacon, um, grilled chicken that we're doing today. All right, so now that we have our chicken, I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle it on. Perfect. Now we have kind of just some taco chicken. Oh man, this looks great. Okay, so we have onions on here, bell peppers, chicken, and we are ready to put it in the oven. I'm gonna put it back in the oven at 450 degrees for about eight to 10 minutes, just until the cheese is nice and bubbly. All right, our pizza is out of the oven and kids fitters, I wish you were here so you could smell this, but I know that you'll be baking this soon in your kitchen. It smells so good. This is gonna be delicious. So now we're gonna take our avocado and I'm just going to Take some of this diced avocado and just kind of sprinkle it over my pizza. That way we have a nice source of heart healthy fat and it adds for a delicious fun green flavor. Look at that, doesn't that look so good? All right, now that we have this cut, we are going to pair this delicious pizza with veggies. And there we go. It is very important to make sure that when you have um, pizza that you're, or anything that you're eating, that you're making sure you're having a lots of fruits and vegetables. So let's talk size. So in mine, you have 
We have bell peppers and some hummus, half my plate. And then I have my veggie uh, chicken taco pizza with lots of veggies and delicious high fiber options there. Um, you could also pair it with a salad or pair it with some fresh fruit or delicious berries. And I love our shortcuts because they're already done and ready for us. Or just get some celery or carrot sticks and pair it with hummus for a nice, easy way to make sure that you have half your plate veggies. Kids Fitters, I challenge you and your family to slow down this week and plan your meals so that you can sit down and eat together. Check out this family meals tracker and this fancy tracker allows you to track how many meals that you eat together as a family and look, you can even check the mark at the box if you help plan the meals. So this is an easy way to do that with your family and have a fun family time. I love it when my kids help me make pizza night like this or just help me in the kitchen with whatever dinner is. All right, don't forget to post a picture of you and your family eating together and tag High V Kids Fit. I can't wait to see what new brave combinations you come up with. And Kids Fit All Stars, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time on Family Friendly Meals.